folks, Jonathan here. Uh, my truck sure does need washed, I tell you what. You know, I let this thing sit about a year and a half and I didn't even wash it after I put the engine in. Uh, I hardly ever drive this thing, just every once in a while, but uh, sometimes when you get a lead on something, whether it be a car or something else, you know, you gotta jump on it pretty quick. So somebody had put a machinist toolbox on uh, YouTube, or I'm sorry, Facebook Marketplace, and a bunch of tools, and $150. And so I think it's a pattern maker, die maker, or something's box. Uh, but there was enough in it that I was ready to jump on it because you know it's a Kennedy box. Looks like the lock's been taken out, but uh, but we're gonna run and see if we can get it real quick. Okay, folks, uh, I got lucky. This this toolbox that was put on uh, Facebook Marketplace was uh, I don't know 12 miles from my house, maybe something like that. But uh, just finished the deal, uploaded it up, and. I don't get excited very often, but I've got to admit, I was I was like a, giggling like a little schoolgirl when I left there. I, you know, I get some good deals sometimes, but you know, this is this is just unbelievable deal. And I'll tell you the story real quick. The guy, I guess he inherited this box about eight years ago. Well, it may have been longer than that. He told me that he hasn't used a tool out of it in eight years. And that he just wanted to pass it on to get it to somebody that had used it. And when I showed up, he was he was sitting on the tailgate of his truck and he was sitting in his driveway. And uh, you know, really nice house. And, you know, not a not it wasn't in the hood. Let's put it that way. And definitely wasn't in the hood. So when I pulled up, he said, "I sure am glad you came." He said because I've had people since you got a hold of me that has offered me twice as much as what I've listed it for and he said I just want to go ahead and get it gone so I don't have to deal with it so he opened a couple of drawers on it and showed me just a couple items that was worth way more than what I was paying for the whole setup and so uh, I'm just tickled I, you know I, I don't get excited too often and it takes a bunch to make me excited but this is a, uh, like I said, I think for me, for what I do, for what I enjoy doing, uh, this is a deal of a lifetime because I don't do machine work and stuff because, you know, I have to or to make a living. I do it because I like doing it. And this, is, this is like a, this is my Christmas present for sure. I, I don't need one for a few years now. So uh, I think I have got a tow to do as soon as I get back. So I'm not even gonna get time to look through the box and, uh, and see everything and that's of course going to kill me but that's all right well uh it'll be there when i get back so i'll show you when i when i get time okay made it back from the tow uh no one i brought this in before i went and done the tow because i was afraid it was going to rain and of course it did so uh luckily we didn't get it wet okay i'm not sure what model box this is i know there's a lot of people that collect the boxes but uh it's not real wide it is pretty tall and maybe it'll have the number on the inside. I hadn't looked yet. Uh, no lock on it. Uh, let me see. Style. I don't know which number you all go by. Everybody goes by. But but I know you can tell the year and everything else off the number. But there's the number. Maybe somebody can tell me something about the box. There's going to be a lot of stuff in here that I have no clue what is. Because I'm not a real machinist. I just play one on YouTube. And... Uh, so, to start off, we've already got our money back because there's a million dollars. But I might use that to pay Noah this week. What do you think, Noah? Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> All right, Mighty Mag. I'm assuming that's a magnet for a uh, dial indicator or something. I don't know. I don't reckon we should go through everything because we might be here all day. But uh, Some books. Now, like I said, the guy said that he hasn't worked out of this thing at all and he really hadn't even used a tool out of it in eight years stencils and everybody knows I need them this one's marked bad and then it says warped that's not good let's see what this one says it don't say anything that's a weird one anyway maybe somebody can tell me a little more about it 
I was going to get me a fly cutter, but I don't know. That's weird. Melon head. All right. Oh, an arbor for something. I'm already lost. I guess I can look the part number up on that. If that's the right box for it. Simple grain cleaner. Bunch of screwdrivers and Allen wrenches. T handle style. Some springs. Is that a reamer? I don't know. I don't know what there are. There's a bunch of them. Pitch diameter for a uh, or diameter pitch for a gear. Dicom red. I think it's dried up. That's how long the vents has been used. Stoning oil. Uh, some clamp pieces hold down. Cutters. V block, some odds and ends, pieces for a Dremel. These stones, which I don't know what are, I'm sure somebody can explain these to me. This is Fine India. A bunch of different stones, and there's another drawer that's got a bunch in it. But I don't know what they're used for, so maybe somebody can explain that. Brand new end mill, like a 5 8 nice no, 3 quarter. few new end mills. Alright, that's the top. Alright. More dicum. Ink pens, a lot of lead. Odds and ends. All right, the Jacobs chuck, and it is a Jacobs, it's like a half inch shank. Put one of them up now. See if that's a drill bit or a end mill or what it is. Long like it's probably a little drill bit. Smile and wrenches. Another little chuck. What's the end mill? Is it end mill? Isn't it? I guess it might be a ring. I'm lost on it. Told you I wasn't machine. I wasn't lying, was I? Alright, we'll go to the center drawer. Machinery handbook. Revised edition. Pretty thick. Yeah, pretty thick, ain't it? Can you read this today? Yeah, I think so. Alright, when you get that red, come back and see me. If you get it red, I'll give you a paycheck. You're going to be test on it. <laughs> This door needed to be about a sixteenth long. There we go. Alright. Countersink. Some drills. Carbides. Little drills. Carbide in. Inserts. A lot of little drill bits, carbide in, drill bits, center drills. More of them stones. Oh, that's felt. I don't know. Unless they're using the sharpened end mill. Alright, tap handle, a few taps, small stuff. One big one. Allen wrenches. Ball bearings. What's that blue stuff? I don't know. Taste it and see what it tastes like. No. I don't know what that's for. Alright. Now. Looks like we got a 0 to 1 mic, uh, 1 to 2 mic, another 0 to 1. Mitchell Toyo. Uh, that is a mic, but that's for round, I guess. Oh, 
inside mine. Alright, what's this? Oh, burner, is that a burner or is that a dawn, regular dawn pick? Ah, oh nice. You needed that. No, I needed the one in here. A brown shot. Yeah, uh, mine, if you've seen it, you'd laugh. It's been beat up and I've falling used apart. the same one for years, falling apart. I needed one anyway, so. Looks like some straight edges. And a nice 24 inch straight edge. And that may be. Looks like a drill rod, but that may be the piece that I need. No, see if that'll fit in my transmission on the other side. You know what I'm talking about on the bike? Mm -hmm. Takes a little tiny rod. Hold it down, it should be right, right in there, I think. Too big? No, it fits in there. Are you serious? Yep. All right. We'll hit the jackpot. Should I leave it in there? Yeah, just leave it in there and we'll figure that out a little bit. Drill bits. You know, open that. Height gauge. Look at that. I don't know what brand it is. Is that a step drill bit? Mm -hmm. Not 16. Brand new. Sorry. All right, we got some boring bars, which I need. Somebody maybe can explain what they use these for. I heard somebody refer to them as drill rods, but. I've seen a lot of these and I've had a lot and I'm actually, that's what I was going to use because it's nice and hard for that clutch rod going across and it's only like 3 sixteenths or smaller. Open that box now. Let's see if we can get this back in there, how it belongs. Alright. Last door. Gauge blocks, uh, drill bit, looks like up to about, I don't know, that's, uh, well, I was going to tell you what it said, but I can't see it. What size is that now? In there, Seven eighths. Reamer. Not a reamer. That was a 7 eighths bit? Mm hmm Okay. Brand new. Yeah, it's tapered chain. Looks like it's more tapered too. It's a nice drill bit. A lot of new bits and stuff in the bottom. So, uh, I think I got really lucky on this deal. Like I said, I gave 150 for the entire setup. Mm. All right, well, what do you think, No. I think you got a deal. I like it. Alright, I appreciate everybody watching and uh, bye.